1965, the San Diego Chargers won the Western Division Championship for the third successive year, the fifth time in the six years of the American Football League. And what a thrilling season it was. The first team in history to rank first in every offensive and defensive category, the Chargers emerged with the best percentage record in football. Nine wins, two losses, three ties. Phyllis Paul Lowe set a new league running record of 1,121 yards and was honored as Player of the Year. Incomparable Lance Allworth had his greatest season by catching 69 passes for 1,602 yards. John Hadle was the league's top passer, and little Leslie Speedy Duncan set a new league record for punt returns. They all helped the Chargers to new club attendance records at home and on the road. And to keep alive, the Chargers trademark as pro football's most exciting team. It all started here in Balboa Stadium on a Saturday night when the Chargers clashed with the Broncos from Denver in the first game of the season. Ozzie's marching Chargers and the Marine Corps Guard presented the colors on a perfect night for football. The Chargers take the field. Head coach Sid Gilman follows. With the Broncos leading 7-0, quarterback John Hadle gets the Charger offense rolling. Kansas John connects with Lance Allworth for 50 yards. Then a Herb Trevino field goal trims the Broncos' lead to 7-3. But Denver bounced right back. Mickey Slaughter makes a 31-yard hookup with Bob Scarpetto and jumps the lead to 14-3. As the first quarter ends, Charger rookie Gene Foster from Arizona State snags a pass from Hadel, rips off 25 nifty yards into Bronco country. Four plays later, Foster blasts across the goal to tighten the score 14-10. Foster's score fires up the Chargers. Paul Lowe follows guard Walt Sweeney through the Bronco line. Rumps 41 yards into Bader. San Diego is in the lead, 20-14. Defensive line coach Walt Hackett is busy on the phones as the Chargers roll again. Watch this one. Paul Lowe throws. Lance Allworth is blocked from view between two Broncos. When the smoke clears, San Diego is 42 yards richer. From there, Foster charges through the Denver defense for his second touchdown. San Diego leads at halftime, 27-17. Late in the third period, Denver finds the going rough. Trying to pass, slaughter is met by Ron Carpenter, Frank Buckham, and Howard Kindig. Loses 12 yards. In the final quarter, Denver cuts the Charger lead to 27-24. Then John Hadle unloads a 40-yard blockbuster to Lance Allworth for a six count. Denver scored once more, but not enough, as Coach Gilman takes home the game ball with a 34-31 San Diego victory. Moving to Oakland, the Chargers relax before meeting the Raiders. Trainer Jimmy Van Dusen completes the taping job. The largest crowd in Oakland history watches the Chargers take command from the opening kickoff. John Adel flips a pass to Gene Foster, and San Diego has a first down in enemy territory. Two plays later, Foster, behind the blocking of Ron Mix, goes 25 yards. It's a first and goal to go from the five. Paul Lowe answers the call and twists over to give San Diego a 7-0 lead. After tallying the field goal, Oakland has the ball in the second quarter. Quarterback Tom Flores gets a charger greeting from Bob Petrich and Ernie Land and loses six yards. This time, Flores gets his pass away. Duncan gives Bo Roberson a belt in the back and the ball squirts loose. Rookie Dick Deacon snags it for San Diego. San Diego has a 10-6 lead as Oakland tries to mount an attack in the third quarter. Chargers Buncombe, Whitehead, Duncan, and Faison have other ideas. Clem Daniels loses five yards. Moving into the fourth period, the Chargers defense continues to sparkle. Earl Faison is Johnny on the spot to drop Roger Hagberg in his tracks. The Raiders lose five more. The frustrated Raiders try again. Dick Woods' pass never finds the mark. Kenny Graham picks it off for San Diego and threads his way through heavy traffic to the Oakland 29. Let's take a look at the Chargers' pass protection. Low, right, Shea, Granison, Mixon, Foster form a wall of steel. 
Adel has all the time he needs to find Allworth wide open. San Diego captures victory number two, sinking the Raiders 17-6. The Chargers return to beautiful San Diego, and nearly 30,000 fans gather to watch them engage the Kansas City Chiefs. In a game dominated by defense, Speedy Duncan supplies the fireworks. On this spectacular punt return, he rambles for 30 yards. Later, the Chiefs try to move. Watch number 79, George Gross. He doesn't give up until he has Len Dawson in his grasp for a big loss. In the fourth quarter, the Chiefs have to punt again. Speedy Duncan grabs the football. He slips through the hands of one defender, shifts into high gear, and delights the fans with a 66-yard scoring beauty. The Chiefs manage to 10-10 tie as the Chargers remain undefeated. For the new sports stadium in the offing, Charger owner Baron Hilton pledged his team to remain in San Diego. And with that great news, the delighted fans watch as the Chargers begin to roll against the Houston Oilers. Paul Lowe ripped through to the Houston 35. Lowe ran for 157 yards in this game. Dean Foster follows around end. A sharp block by Lowe springs him to the 25. Herb Trevino kicked a field goal, Lance Allworth added a touchdown, and San Diego holds a 10-0 advantage at halftime. The Chargers keep charging in the third quarter. Rookie Jim Allison grabs the Hadel pass and races for 30 yards deep in Euler country. Two plays later, Hadel rolls out looking for a friendly face. He's